Welcome to a three-minute photo thought. When it comes to your photography or artwork, have you had any of the following thoughts? I'm not good at all. I'm not good enough. I'm not as good as fill in your favorite artist or friend. I'm unoriginal. I'm untalented. Congratulations, you're an artist, no matter what genre you're working in. As writer Gene Fowler once said, writing is easy. All you have to do is stare at a blank piece of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Let's talk about how to deal with it. Well, of course, I have to break the bad news to you that there are no perfect answers that fit everybody. But one needs a good place to start thinking about these things for themselves and how these issues relate to them. And I can think of no better place to start than Art and Fear by David Bales and Ted Orland. This is the most eloquently written short book. It's 125 pages that begins to answer these questions that gives you a starting point for thinking about all these issues as they relate to yourself. And they're important issues for artists. And, you know, I hate to just read, but I want to read you a couple of excerpts to give you a flavor of where you can go and how this book can help you think about your own artwork. And there's three things I'm going to read, one about uncertainty, one about perfection, and one about putting you into your artwork and not comparing yourselves to others. So in regards to uncertainty, they write, all that you do will inevitably be flawed with uncertainty. Uncertainty about what you have to say, about whether the materials are right, about whether the piece should be long or short, indeed about whether you'll ever be satisfied with anything you make. Photographer Jerry Yulesman once gave a slide lecture in which he showed every single image he had created in the span of one year, some hundred odd pieces, all but about 10 of which he judged insufficient and destroyed without ever exhibiting. Uncertainty is the essential, inevitable, and all-pervasive companion to your desire to make art. And tolerance for uncertainty is the prerequisite to succeeding. Now, when it comes to the perfection in our artwork that we all seek, they say, nonetheless, the belief persists among some artists <laughs> and lots of ex-artists that doing art means doing things flawlessly, ignoring the fact that this prerequisite would disqualify most existing works of art. Indeed, it seems vastly more plausible to advance the counter principle, namely that imperfection is not only a common ingredient in art, but very likely an essential ingredient. Ansel Adams, never one to mistake precision for perfection, often recalled the old adage that the perfect is the enemy of the good. His point being that if he waited for everything in the scene to be exactly right, he'd probably never make a photograph. To demand perfection is to deny your ordinary and universal humanity, as though you'd be better off without it. Yet this humanity is the ultimate source of your work. Your perfectionism denies you the very thing you need to get your work done. About comparing yourselves to others, which is something I think as artists and photographers, or artists in any genre, we all tend to do. But the important point here is not that you have or don't have what other artists have, but rather that it doesn't matter. Whatever they have is something needed to do their work. It wouldn't help you in your work, even if you had it. Their magic is theirs. You don't lack it. You don't need it. It has nothing to do with you, period. And a closing thought. In the end, it all comes down to this. You have a choice, or more accurately, a rolling tangle of choices between giving your work your best shot and risking that it will not make you happy or not giving it your best shot and thereby guaranteeing that it will not make you happy. It becomes a choice between certainty and uncertainty. And curiously, uncertainty is the comforting choice. Really, an, an excellent book. I'm going to leave a link to it below the video. But I think it, it really is something that 
all artists in any genre ought to read. Well, my three-minute photo thoughts have lately been going over the allotted time. I don't know whether to rename them or shorten them, but we'll figure it out. At this point, though, I'd like to ask you, have you struggled with these issues in your artwork and photography regarding uncertainty, perfectionism, and comparing yourself to others? I know I certainly have. Have they ever come close to making you completely quit? How have you dealt with them? I'm sure that other people would really benefit from hearing. If you're so inclined, leave a comment in the section below the video and we can discuss it. I'm Howard, and my channel is all about introducing viewers to photographers who inspire, to discussing all sorts of photographic topics, and to enhancing creativity with Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials. And if those topics sound interesting to you, I certainly appreciate your support of the channel by having you click on the subscribe button below. We'll see you next time.